Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is probably not something y'all want to hear about, and this is probably going to get me in some trouble. But I don't care. I'm going to say what I got to say. Let me tell you what's going on down there in Mason, Tennessee. All right, Mason, Tennessee, predominantly black town. Ain't a whole lot of people down there. It's about 60% black people. And those people are direct descendants of the black people who came to Mason after the Emancipation Proclamation. Now, this town is predominantly black, run by black folks, all that other kind of stuff. And Ford Motors had decided to put a plant down there. It's going to be about $4.6 billion plant that they plan on putting down there, about five miles away from, from Mason, right? So, you know, if it's, it, it ain't but 1,500 people in Mason. That's it, there's 1,500 people in Mason. Now, if, 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 if 1,500 people, that means everybody getting a job. If before coming down there, it's going to be like 27,000 jobs opening up. It ain't but 1,500 people there. 1,500 people, and that means that the town of Mason gets the tax benefit. They're, they're going to, they're, they will be able to benefit from the taxes that, that will be paid by the Ford company as well as Tennessee because they got state taxes. But in that area, it's going to be a whole lot of building and a lot of growing and a lot of things going on. So all of them people are going to have the benefit of that. Not just the black people, but it's predominantly black. But I'm just saying, everybody who live over there going to have the benefit. It's going to be a whole bunch of jobs. Ain't, could you imagine a place where the doggone unemployment is zero? But in true historic fashion, a gentleman by the name of Jason Mumpower, or whatever, how you call it, you all got to look it up, um is saying that the town of Mumford needs to needs to hand over their charter. They don't need to be a town no more. He wants to be in charge of, 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 of Mason. Like, no, Mason, y'all don't need to exist no more. Now, how is it that it just conveniently comes up when, when Mason just basically is about to hit the lottery when it comes to cities? Why, why is that? Why does it bother you that that just them little bit of black people, them little bit of black people getting ready to, you know, they, their lives are getting ready to change. It's going to be a lot of a lot of taxes being paid by the Ford company. You know, good taxes. You know what that means? That means it's going to be a better school, better education. Those people down there get a chance to, to, to enhance their lives the way that they need to. Not only with the jobs, just the taxing. I mean, their lives are going to be changed by the presence of this company. Why are you trying? to take control of it and redirect the taxes and the jobs and the money and all the opportunity you trying to bring that into a different direction. I mean, come on. How many times have you heard people say, oh, they just need to pull themselves up by the bootstraps and then when the opportunity comes for people to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps, what happens? Here you go, stealing boots. You're stealing, you're trying to steal the boots. Don't do that. Don't do that. And I'm just saying, I'm speaking on it because I don't hear nobody else saying nothing about it. I'm seeing articles, but people don't read. People will hear, but they don't read and they do whatever. All I'm saying is y'all need to, I'm shedding the light on this. This is wrong. You know what this is? Modern day Black Wall Street. That's exactly what it is. Modern day Black Wall Street. Okay, don't sit around and talk about how, well, this particular demographic is always shooting and killing and gangs and jail and high school dropouts and teenage pregnancy. And then when the opportunity comes for people to better themselves, you block it. I could go down that rabbit hole. That's wrong. I'm sorry. You, I don't care who you are and I don't care what color you are. Anytime you put forth an effort, Mr. Jason Mumpower, or however you say your name, you put forth the effort to, 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 to stop the progress of other Americans. You are un-American. You are not, you are not patriotic. You are not behaving as a true American. You want to call yourself a true American? If you want to say what America stands for, uh, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, well, people have the right to, to, to better themselves. And they have the right to benefit from each and everything in this country, especially people who come from the descendants of people who fought, bled, and died just like everybody else. And oh, oh, where the town's in debt. Well, the town is on the course to be out of debt by the end of this year. So you have no argument there. 
Do not try to stand in the way of progress. I just had to say something about it. Yes, I know I'm a comedian, but damn it, I feel like I should use my platform for everything. You do not need to stand in the way of people's progress just because of the color of their skin. That is un-American. That may be what America used to stand for, but I'm sorry to tell you, there is a new America now. Okay? And the new rule is that the, the benefits of America are for everybody. Not just a certain group of people. Sorry. Sorry to bust your bubble. You don't have to like me. Say what you want. I, I'm saying it. You are wrong. Jason Mumpower or whatever your name is. You are wrong. Sit down. And allow these people to progress. Don't stand in the way of progress. You are on the wrong side of history right now. You have no right. You allowed the for it. They're building a plant that's going to benefit these certain people, and especially people of color. And you have no business doing what you're doing. Yes, I said it. You can come after me. I ain't got nothing. I don't care. Say what you want to say. I may not be the greatest comedian or the most famous one or the most popular one, but I tell you what I am. I'm the people's champ. I'm going to speak up for the people. See, everybody else, they ain't going to do nothing. As long as they getting money, they don't care nothing about it. They ain't not going to say nothing. Matter of fact, let me toot my own damn horn real quick. Who else you see around here posting pictures of missing children? Nobody. Me. Who else you see speaking up on issues? Me. Everybody else just want to clown. I'll speak up for the people. I doggone right, I'll fight for the people. Yes, I'll say it. And I don't mind sacrificing for the hell. I'm at 1.8 million on, uh, followers on Facebook for the last three damn years. They won't even let my, my following grow. I don't care. I still speak up for the people. It is what it is. But the bottom line is what you're doing down there to the people in Mason, Tennessee, you're wrong. You're out of line. You have no business doing that. Get out of those people's business. You allow Ford to come there and bring prosperity to that town. Ain't but a handful of people down there anyway. Let those people grow. Allow those people to have a, a better education system and let them improve their town. Let those people have jobs. That's what should happen. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself for standing in the way of that type of progress. That's what that that if 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 you have such a problem with, it, then maybe you should go on your end of town and make it attractive for some for another uh, company to come and and do the same thing that's going to go going to happen in Mason. How about that? How about that? You're wrong. I'm sorry. Nobody else want to say nothing. I'm saying something.